Domain Van, 2025, committed to Miami. I play outfield and I attend Wesleyan High School. It's a day in the life. <laughs> For January's giveaway, I am giving away another pair of 100% sunglasses, but they are the Hypercrafts. And all you have to do to win these is gonna be the same thing as last month. You have to one, be subscribed to the channel. Two, like this video. Three, leave a comment down below. Four, watch this video all the way through to the end and do that for every video in the month of January and the winner will be announced on February 2nd. Here are all the dates that will be dropping videos. Be sure to follow all the rules to be entered into the giveaway, and best of luck. Uh, I've been playing baseball since I can remember, for real. Uh, nobody in my family played it, so I had nothing influencing me. I just, I love playing all sports. I was a three-sport athlete growing up basketball, football, baseball, and I really just stuck with baseball. It just felt right to me. Uh, I committed pretty early, like fairly early in the process. But Miami just felt like home. You know, I went on my visit, everything, like, it just felt right. And then the biggest part was probably my mom. When we got on the Zoom call with Coach Damari, my mom just, my mom trusted him to keep me safe. And after that, it was a, it was a wrap. I got their attention through my coach. He knew, he knew the uh, recruiting coordinator, so he put me in contact with him. And so I started calling him every week, sending him a video. And then they came and saw me play, and they told me when I hit 86, they were gonna offer. And so I hit it in a game, I think I hit it twice. And then the next day they called me and they offered. Uh, there's definitely that pressure, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you feel it from parents, you feel it from, especially from the other team, you know, you get the chance, D1, like Mr. Miami, I've heard it all. You know, it's hard, especially like, when, cause I was so young when I committed, it's hard to deal with that sometimes. But you just gotta tone all that out and just go out there and play. Uh, my greatest strength for sure is my athleticism. I feel like I'm the best athlete on every field I step on, and I feel like that helps me do a lot of the stuff I do on the field. My greatest weakness is probably just my mental. Sometimes I get in my head, I get too involved in the game, especially like if it's a big game, I get riled up and do stuff that I'm not supposed to do, so I just, I just gotta work on staying true to myself.
My only game day tradition really is just listening to music. I gotta just get myself calm before the game, put my AirPods in, tone everything out, and just get ready to play. I probably don't have, I don't have a favorite baseball memory, but the most hype memory I can remember is probably last year, my freshman year, the first pitch of the first game of the season, I hit a leadoff home run, and I just, it really just set the tone for the rest of the season, that was a big moment. My main advice for people that are trying to get committed is just you need to make sure you're playing against kids that are already there. You know what I'm saying? You want to play against kids that are where you want to be. So if you're playing against kids that are where you're at right now, that's not going to do anything for you. You need to play against the best competition you can find. Today we started off in the cages doing some underhand toss and then we came onto the field, hit BP. After BP, we took some rounds from the outfield to second base, took some pop flies. And that's a Dana like, thank you for watching.